day 27 chest and shoulders i'm absolutely dead today was legs uh this chest and shoulders that you're seeing right now is actually yesterday's workout uh my god three days in a row of really hard training i'm absolutely dead i'm not sure how i went like nine straight days without a rest day i can definitely see why that was a stupid idea now especially when being in a deficit even when i'm bulking i just don't see a reason to train that many times a week I'm not even like there's literally no point of it You're just overtraining and risking injury and things like that so this is pretty much what i'm doing now basically just like three days on one day off kind of following like that four day split but cutting it in half with a rest day if that even makes sense i don't even know what i'm saying right now i'm so tired anyways chest and triceps different gym here i love this gym it's a lot better than the one you're used to incline bench press now this gym had a lot of machines but a lot of them were also taken so i was just like you know what let me do the incline bench i was planning to do it anyways did not have a spotter so i couldn't really like push it past failure but that's kind of okay since it's like a compound movement first set was a plate and a 35 so 205 pounds for seven reps it's not that many reps compared to what i've done but you can see the range of motion is a lot more than what it used to be i used to stop like before my elbows passed 90 degrees but now you can see like my elbows are definitely going a lot lower and so my range of motion is a lot more at least like another inch of range of motion which is pretty significant uh it has a lot more stress on the chest and actually like getting the bar out of that hole plus i'm in a deficit so i'm obviously a little bit weaker so i feel like it's a pretty good level of maintained strength on the bench press which is usually the exercise that is first to go when you start in a deficit so i'm pretty happy with the way that's going two more sets after this i throw on 185 the reason for that being 205 only moved for seven reps could have gotten an eighth one maybe if i did a rest pause but i didn't want to risk it without a spotter so i did two more sets here i believe of 185 and because the last set was a lot harder than the second last set i decided to do a drop set since i didn't get the amount of reps i wanted to i feel like a lot of people are intimidated to do drop sets on compound movements i don't think you should be because like for example on this bench this drop set did not like insanely fatigue my nervous system it was just really good to get an extra pump in the muscles and just completely burn out the chest on this movement, especially when I didn't get the amount of reps I wanted to. Just pretty simple stuff right there. Now, this being a drop set, a pretty intense set, I end the incline press here and move on to this machine that I've never quite seen before. Uh, it's this hammer strength machine. I've seen it in Sab Sulek's videos, I think, if that's the same machine. But this thing is heavy, man. I think it was like 90 pounds. is a little bit more than half the stack. And my god, what did I get? Like six, seven reps? Like that was freaking insanely hard for absolutely no reason. I have no idea why that was so difficult. But it's a good thing, which means um, once the bulk starts, I get to progress more and approach the stack. Hopefully, that would be pretty sick for a machine that is this difficult. I did not think it would be this hard. But it's a great machine nonetheless. It's amazing because it converges. I've always wanted to use a chest machine that converges. For some reason, all the chest machines I happen to use don't converge. So I don't get the best squeeze at the top, but this one definitely does. And I think for that reason, I would do four sets. If an exercise feels really good, then why don't you do more sets on that exercise instead of moving on to something else that probably doesn't feel as good? So like the incline bench, for example, it felt good, but it wasn't like insane. So I did three sets, but this machine felt insane. There's a novelty aspect to it that will probably get my chest even more fatigued. So I'm going to do four sets on it. And I did, and a lot of the sets, every set was to failure. Half of them were drop sets. I went really hard, got a really good squeeze and really good stretch. Threw some weight around here and there, but I still got a ridiculous pump, and that's what matters. Four sets out of that machine. This will definitely not be the last time you see me on this machine. It's probably going to be a regular thing from now on. But next is just the regular pec deck. You know, can't go wrong with a good old pec deck. It's like your most typical fly movement. It's a great exercise. Really get that stretch and that squeeze help get a wider chest and basic stuff here like it's a pretty simple chest workout you got your incline bench compound you got your machine accessory and then you got your fly movement three exercises i believe that's like 11 sets total that's enough for chest if i'm training it twice a week which i am and then after chest is triceps so i was looking around i was trying to find a dip machine but they didn't have it so i substituted that for this tricep extension mis machine so the first set i was like okay it feels pretty good you know it's nothing too crazy the second set, it started feeling absolutely crazy. Like I was, I was getting a pretty, pretty good pump. Third set, my triceps went numb. And fourth set, I was like in pain. It was insane how much of a pump I got from this machine. It looks like a machine that like some old grannies would use. I could barely fit in it and I'm not even that big. 
But the pump is just insane. I, I really want to continue using this machine for triceps. Now, speaking of triceps, I was thinking of changing up the split a little bit to emphasize more of my triceps, which I feel like is like my biggest weak point in terms of my physique. I would do something where I train shoulders and triceps, do chest and biceps, then do back and triceps, then do legs. So I hit triceps twice as frequently as everything else. So I'm literally just going to force them to grow at this point. And once they do start growing, I think I'll put that emphasis more onto like shoulders for like the next phase of my training or maybe even biceps. We'll see. But right now I really want to grow the triceps. So like on that front double bicep, it really just like hangs down and makes my arm look twice as big because I feel like my bicep is pretty decent. Obviously it's not insane, but the peak is like pretty good. It's the tricep that on that shot doesn't really hang down and doesn't really give that illusion of a huge arm so i try to i want to try and fix that four sets on that machine moving on to a pretty simple tricep push down you can see that i'm really using my shoulders in this movement that's just because like i like using the heavy weight for this exercise but i also don't want to destroy my elbows so i kind of use like some elbow movement or rather shoulder movement to like help accommodate for that pretty simple stuff there and last i did like an overhead extension the last set of that i did unilateral burned out the triceps and on this day because i was feeling so good i went and i did a set of biceps or the three sets of biceps actually because it just felt so good that day just want to get an extra pump and it felt great so i did that very simple workout one of the craziest best pumps i've had in a while especially in this deficit so it was great also i'm an ifpb pro here which is absolutely that was pretty sick just get like I thought the dude was an open guy and then I asked him he's a classic physique competitor so I'm like holy crap I need to get that big to compete in classic physique and uh, as you can see by the physique here I'm not the biggest but I'm getting leaner the cut is working I'm smiling because I'm pretty happy with the, the way the lighting looks I really I really just want to bring up this front double bicep I want it to be like a wow factor for this shot you know what I mean I don't know. I don't know what it's missing, really. I think it's just missing, like, everything. I, like, the triceps here look good. It's so weird to me how that works, but it's pretty good. I just feel like maybe the waist is too thick on the front double bicep, or maybe it's just not, like, fully tapering in, but it's a pretty decent shot. I like the side chest. The back, you can't even see, so it's whatever. But that's it for the training session. It was pretty simple stuff. I love this new gym. I'm probably going to keep going to it for most of the future videos, but hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something and I'll see you for shoulders and triceps or shoulders and biceps, whichever I decide to do in uh, two days. Today was legs, crushed that. That's it.